lane, I think, for Grimstroke. Grimstroke is also a very strong laner, but Lina is just god laner. As I say that, one more nuke here from Grimstroke could kill Lina. Oh no. Wow! The first droplets. That swift. <laughs> oh my goodness. The back to the action at the bottom lane. Now it will be a spin hit dragon. Two old breads comes out. He will go down. Oh, nice strike back by team Murago Gambit. Razor is hard counter by Dux here, but because it's Oracle support, it's no problem. Yeah, yeah it's well here. here. Yeah, uh, about to kill. Oh, wait. Uh, they're trying to take down that no one, but a, a great cut of gang coming out from the supports. Impel connected. Could be a big nuke. Oh, he dodged it. About to go down as well. Mid K. Crawling back into the tree line. Pop the fairy fire as well. Not gonna be enough. Giving yeah, the sure. up to the Razor. Oh, no. Juggernaut also leaving the lane. That being found by Liquid Tiger right here with the boulder. Oh, oh no. He's gonna take a lot of summer like slash right there. And now he's gone. A little bit miscalculated by him, by Taika, you think? Top lane, however, Team Liquid is going to strike back with the Plasma Field and also the Static Link. And Gambit is even all ahead, and it's going to be very tough for them. Coming inside for Team ASM. Taking all the new scroll creeps and start to fight with an impel. They're setting up, they're trying to shut down the Earth Spirit first, but it's just not going to be able to do so. Stroke of Fate a hit on everyone. Falls out already for the Juggernaut. The core of Team A is going to go down. Immersion dropping quite low. And Mikkel with a double kill. Yeah, like, Why are they so rushing? Careful with Juggernaut. Oh, top lane. They're going on the Razor. Here's Omni Slash. Yes, he has. Plasma Phil trying to buy some time. Omni Slam, that means sufficient. Uh, spinning around, right round. Still diving for the Razor. Oh, oh he died before. And then he also can't attack the Razor, who was on like 50 health. Pretty well played there by Insania. Yep, a fortune save from long range as well. And follow up with this in the wild card. Yeah, probably. Impale, yeah. sidestepping, sidestepping. Got hit, but out of range again from the leader. And he had taken down, you think? Oh, Lakuna oh right, no, but he's away. Oh my god. Maybe, alright, alright, they start the round to be rolling ball in and dropping everything. Alright, this is falling apart. So fine, connected two years together. It's time to go in for Team Liquid, but where is the follow up damage? They start the fight with the Fortunes end and also the Magnetize. Another rolling boulder in. Tiger producing a lot of damage though, but it's just not enough. I mean, this is what we are talking about that they are kind of lack of the um, physical damage. Tiger now eventually falls by Afterlife. Six games so far in this wild card. And he has 83.33% win rate. Wow. Oh, nice spot from long, long range with an impale connected as well. But however, they're just going to counter back with the fortune center on Spike for page, trying to stop the invaders. Oh, no. That's not going to be enough. Rolling boulder in. Boulder smash connected by Tiger. Suddenly, a wild earth spirit appears in the scene. And now they kill that no one. Lena being rolled over by the whole crew of Team Liquid. Uh it's much easier for Liquid to play because oh, Koikon Koi was only slashed and killed by the Juggernaut pretty much solo. They will just die, there's no no saving. With that Dark here develop himself into a uh, well fortune sand. And also a Sing Swell stun, very nice one. And it seems like Taika is going to kill the support on Emerge and he's still being on the effect of the Magnetize. Got away though. Now let's take a look at the chase around here. Chasing the support into the tree line. Insania. Insania fighting Sonego. Fortune Sand connected. Mikke is dead due to the damage. Easy kill, definitely. Oh, wait. Oh, he's healing up. He doesn't he's still it, flying. Radiance what is going on, on here? I wonder if they're going to keep chasing him so far. Man, yes. this, is, this is dragon blood. This is why are we have a dragon in the game. Oh no, you and... walked into the creep wave. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. But he could buy a lot of time and a lot of space. His teammate is still on, on the search. Man, this is actually remind me the opening scene from a friendly co-caster into a dangerous man if he's following him. <laughs> Alright, okay, we'll see here. Uh, Impel on two, great one. And then follow up with a look of the blade from that double kill. 
too risky. It feels like they, the Dyer doesn't have enough damage. He just kills. Good character now. setup. Yeah, nice setup. And then follow up with the Vendetta. Now this is actually the first time doing the wall replica. Follow up with the Laguna Blade. Seems to be a great fight for Monaco Gambit. Definitely gonna be, uh, get the second kill. And now. Uh, yeah, Gambit, all Team Smoke, going inside, trying to buy the target, it's Toy Fox. Nice, careful again. Nearby, the top of the tower, level the blade, ice part, all this stuff, Toy Fox will go down. He stepped on himself, okay. Oh, die anyway, another iPad drop. Mm. And now they're pressuring bottom at the same time. Oh, Earth Spirit yeah. is alone here, let's be careful. Well. That's not looking good. Earth Spirit gonna be the first one to go down, definitely. But however, he's waiting for his teammates and Mickey. Having a really easy good that you oh, Wall of Replica just across. Just to block all the perfect angle for Wall of Replica and also the Impel killing spree already for Afterlife. Gambit looking very, very strong. It's still a trade though, but they got the core of Team Liquid. This is Mickey. On top, Tiger falls. Gambit still moving forward, Team of Chains stands in the front line. You scepter, Omni slash into the tree line, Incineer. Oh, <laughs> Once he's out of the fall from he will surely go down. Incineer shooting the Fortune Sand before, oh wait, he, he's got the way actually, Plasma, feel, yeah. Team of Chains back, what a long fight we have around here. It really sounds like a Ninja Kabuto. I, I watched that anime when I was a kid. Uh, but wait, you. yeah. Okay, nice setup. You set up on up with a light strike array, then follow up with a Mana dragon slay. We need that feeling we back. You know, motivate ourselves a little more. Oh, okay. You set up and uh, dropping everything. Macro pile, everything in the small area. Rolling border as well. Drop magnetize. They're aiming for the support first. I think the crit head dragon is the main problem. He was cut down by the chakram and also the uh, whirling Top day. Top juggernaut though. He's oh just no! The power. Yep, spinning around DP. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That. <laughs> That's the way. Retreated back to the high ground, getting ready and waiting for Team Gambit at the Golden Triangle. Smoke pops out, Immersion Juice to spike for face already, dropping a, an ice pod and moving in for Foxy. Tip a chain, Rambo Pie drop, and also the uh, turn on the BKB for Koifa. But he cannot find a target though, he's moving around, dealing damage with his ultimate Q scepter on himself. Once he touched down, he's gonna deal with the damage from Dream. Dream, Chuggernaut. Agonim scepter. Still holding on for the uh, Aegis, and now let's go for another round. The spinning, spinning, spin to win that dream. Oh my, Foxy. Not gonna be that easy for Dream to take that Foxy down. Static Link staying on the high ground. Koifa, we go down the river, but the rest of Team Liquid are already retreating. Four oh, of them. Speedy Dragonaut. Yep, they're going for Internet and spinning around. Four promises to buy a little bit of time. But that would be it. Dream is on dominating. 65. Okay. Damn. In the middle lane, uh, heads is being used for the first time. Uh, aiming for the support. The hero used Scepter in order to stop Boxy from killing him. Rolling and border. Timber Chain didn't connect on this one. Um, Chris. Oh, and he now that's a lot of fight. Yeah, he turned on the BKB. Oh, however, it's getting drained a lot of the damage. He comes with a static link. Walking away, another hit comes out, and this one will surely close down because of the extra damage. Wow, look at the damage from the Razor! <laughs> but now Razor's out of position, Omni Slash still available. The moving tornado right there, Plasma Field being a little bit of damage as well. They all fall back to the high ground a little bit. Team Liquid getting ready for the next fight. Trying to, the only ultimate they have is Chakram, which is a really Man, small in. ultimate right there. Dream moving in, still have the Omni Slash, but he being used Scepter, you know, stop. So many skills has been spammed, but no one died nice as yet. But the first one is going to be uh, Insania. Yeah. Go that long until he no. 25? Probably not. Okay, in which side? Oh wait, now now you Scepter trying to save himself, setting up the tempo as well. Immersion. Yes, no, he now though, she gets Omni Slash, he's dead. 
Yeah. It's it's up. Up. Uh, that's what, wow. Uh, a bomb bomb is going to be the point one. He can go to the wall as well. Back for fire, all the stuff. High fire as well. New scepter. Uh, Soul Bar connected on two. Emergent falls already. Double kill for no one. And she'll keep on chasing. No one chasing Double towards the support. Up. Right there. Bam, bam. See how far. See the speed. He can take one down. Burns. That's bam, it. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Kapow. Oh, 21. Oh, 19k ahead. Are there ways to come back for Team Liquid? However, uh, Foxy is not giving up just yet. He's trying to make plays, make something happen. He's going in and Hex and also the Chakram. But it seems like a fade. Yeah, and just the, the lack of damage is becoming more and more obvious, really. They can't kill the support hero. Rolling on the next assassin, though. He's very tanky. Yep. He's going to get He's about to go down, but actually the first one is instantly getting chopped down by the, the uh, Juggernaut and not a chop. Look at how long he can chop. Man, that was that was like two weeks. That was like two weeks on this last, and they still keep going strong for that. Timber Chain just trying to save himself. Another call falls. Nick it down. Next one's gonna be Boxy. Oh my goodness. Bomb. So, if they can win the bottom, oh, look at the rate. Holy moly, that is a... It's a long range, but however, Team Liquid is going to put out, and the new scepter trying to save himself right there. All dropping quite low, the micro pie dealing decent damage as well, but finally, an Omni Slash comes out and spinning around, that's two down, but Team Liquid did no buyback, double kill for Gambit Dream, and that's a CD call coming out from Team Gambit, Team... GG. Super yeah, important from, victory here. From Team like, Liquid, Team Gambit takes game one. Yeah, Gambit needed this victory, and it's the first loss for Liquid, so it's... Uh... Versus Team Liquid. Oh, okay. That might be the first blood right away, right off the bat. Emergent. Well, that is a great homework doing by Team nice. Liquid. Mm. For Liquid, I mean... There will be 6 2, so they will still be in a very good spot. Oh, Underlord in trouble. Everyone just low on HP. I think everyone on that lane needs to make an entrance. Does he have a pit? Doesn't yep, even I... need the pit. Too much reactive damage. Puck yeah. to bottom. Coil. Illusory arm. Oh, perfect. Hit the remnant and trapping on that puck. Stop him from chasing on that march. He's getting into the tree line. He's trying to do some fancy oh. footwork. But oh no, he came out. Uh, oh, and it, however, he's still shooting some spears of marts. Buying some time. Man, look at that. Now the bull work. Look at that footwork. Yeah, like he's right coming. Uh, yeah. It's taken away from them. So early into the game. Like, you almost never see that. However, oh, they are quite mad of losing the middle lane. They're coming back and trying to seek for revenge, and they got it on Koifa. Yep. And, uh, keep on this, this is why this combo is so strong. Like, you almost permanently haste. No boots even. Yeah, back to the bottom lane, setting up Arena of Blood, I believe, as the first time. And they are about to take that help Titan. And so they could fall. Secret dive into a supernova. Eight. Eight. Not Drop that good. In. Uh, Lord Grid is stuck, stuck in there. He's trying so hard to stay alive while he's stuck in the dream coin, not going to be able to do so. Emergent is on killing spree. Yeah, he's that. just a speedy boy. Now he overtook the Ursa who is free farming himself. And once that Agam set is up, he's going to be a real nuisance. Elder Titan using Echo Storm, however, he's becoming the target of the uh, Voice Spirit. Sunray is good. Start on him. Nice one, Sunray, healing and dealing the damage at the same time. Now he keep on chasing. Puck is right here too. Doesn't have the Dream Coil, but uh, that might be enough to kill. No, uh, a little bit in too deep. And I don't think Cambridge should just dive into the tower. But who knows, they are from the CIM and they are so well known about the aggressive play and that's why they are going in. <laughs> and now they made the mistake, no one a little bit in too deep. Man. Yeah, he, he got frostbitten just as he was using his silence to relocate himself. So he didn't actually move and immersion spear, Ooh, nice one. Look at the spear, man. And then they got the phoenix, yeah. they got the bird, killing spear ended on immersion. It's a lot more difficult for them to start the fight. All right, this might be the sandwich and the break is coming. And that's what I'm talking about. Setting up Arena of Blood. And after life getting surrounded by the whole crew of Team Liquid. Three IOs. Three IOs? Yeah. No, it doesn't matter how many IOs 
Because they have no hands. <laughs> oh, three man coils, supernova. <laughs> oh. oh my god! <laughs> wow! Okay, and that is going in. All dropping by low, but it does the damage on Tak as well. And that is a triple kill on this whip. Man, it's yeah, getting it's harder and harder. <laughs> That's heavy breathing for me. Okay, at least we could be trying to fight back with the Arena of Blood right here. Shooting in the sun, Ray trying to heal teammates. So it's away. It is so hard to take that IO down. He's slowly flying away. Ikola dive one more time. And it was Team Liquid instead. He's coming in a little bit too deep. Three falls okay. down for him. Gambit. And plus to deal with the Underlord is something different, man. And another, another green point drop on the course of Team Liquid. That will uh, secure Boxy. This IO is gonna be kiting them like no tomorrow. Way too hard to kill. He has a dream coil. If he catches the. Ah, okay, he has been caught. Is he gonna expect yeah, okay. dream coil? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Gotta spend the coil to kill this guy, Tiger. That hard at all to take him down if Liquid found him, especially when he's stuck in the dream coil. Yeah. Insane, yeah. Wow, barely makes it out. Yep. Not um, I wonder if Mickey can running away from that. <laughs> Liquid is gonna be very contained. They have two still very greedy cores with a lone druid Ursa. And if they can't farm, they're not gonna be able to do anything. Back to the middle lane and it starts a fight with the arena of blood. First one to falls down is actually no one. Yeah, that, that's a good sign for Team Liquid. They're gonna keep this one coming. They seem to keep on chasing. Boxy is very low. Nice. He drags his enemy away so long. Um, well, he bought back right away. It seems like Team Liquid really want to contest for this Roshan. Let's go for round two. Everyone of Team Liquid getting into the Roshan pit, getting ready for another fight. Sending in the uh, mini bear in order to check, give some visions. Oh, some of the Liquid player was hit by the spirits. Moving in, only few hits away. Who is going to get that AP shooting at Sunray? He'll a little bit, probably so low. And after life trying to walk away from the dance, they're not gonna make it. Big case on BKB. He prevent all the damage from the spell from Team Gambit. Now it's time for Team Liquid to back into the Roshan pick. Pick it up finally. Team Liquid took it. Oh my goodness, Spiker, however, might sacrifice himself. Yes, he go down. Yeah, yeah but. The, the, the strongest creatures are half dark and half, you know, light side. We'll see if Hacker can come out again. Make it. Yes, they go for it. And still smart. Lock down that pocket and the wall of Arena of Blood. First one down is Foxy. Foxy being boxed by Team Gambit. And now they're pushing forward. Not looking good for Team Liquid. Yeah, this is a typical case of call the ambulance, but not for me. Boxy and oh, no. No, insane. They're they gonna coiled. get one more kill, definitely. Trying to do the Glimmercade, extend the time of life, but he could only just buy the Elder Titan, Puck, or Phoenix. They're like in a perfect scenario for their fight. But this IO is a very tough kill. Yeah, and the scenario is out. happening right now. Turn of the BKB for Dream. And. Most of the heroes of Team Gambit are so tanky. Now look at that, coming in for Boxy, very brave one by him. Heroic play by Boxy, but can they take one down first? Yes, they can. That is the important uh, uh, heroes as well. It was important. Oh, oh wow, they simulate the field of damage. Not that much damage to any one of Team Gambit. Gambit will be back, illusory off. Oh, they were so close. Boy Spirit's about to go down. Tiger trying to find his way back home. He, I thought he was healed, but he actually was shot by the sun ray, shooting some sun tank, going straight in. Oh my goodness. And now finally Tiger falls. Tiger still has a buyback though. I'm not sure if he has to buy it right now. This is what I was worried about. Like, this IO was just full health the entire fight. And even though they managed to kill the Phoenix, Ursa just can't fight yeah. his IO right now. Lock on it, can't fight his IO, he's just immortal at this moment in the game. Oh my god, that is so golden IO here. Now yeah, shooting out the shiny. spirits. Oh, you just see yeah. the player die immediately from this percentage damage. Boxy, no BKB, oh, yeah. and he jumped in without BKB. Oh, got like beyond for a dream. The IO, and now they are taking it down. Everything. And Team Liquid, the, the only player dies, there's no other player. It was the last player, as well. 
mid can turn the BKB, try to crawl back to the fountain, regen a bit and come back and defend. They will definitely lose this set of racks and maybe, maybe if for Team the Gambit want to go for the throne, I think they can. They start attacking on tier 4 already. Team Liquid needs to do something. This is their last stronghold and this is not looking good. They have to defend without their core hero for at least 50 seconds. Team Liquid taking down the tier 1 tier 4 towers and about to go for the throne. Oh man, any resistance at all from Team Liquid? I mean, there's really nothing much I can do. As soon as Box is alive, they need to jump in, but they don't have the damage to take down these heroes. Focusing IO, but he's not taking any damage. And now at least trying to do a bit of blood. Got life once again. And a wow. got life double kill. Oh my dear lord. Phoenix Echo in background as well. Yeah, this is the reason why every team first ban IO against Team Gambit as they are cruising in, taking down the throne, forcing a TP call out Team Liquid. Team Gambit, Monaco Gambit sweeps Team Liquid 2-0 in the best of two series. I did not expect Gambit to beat Liquid 2-0, especially after Gambit's last series.